Hi, this is Dr. David Iminkoff from LifeWorks Wellness Center, Clearwater, Florida. The next topic I'd like to take up is the influence of teeth on health. Now, as medical doctors, we very rarely pay any attention to teeth. Uh, of course, as part of a physical examination, you would look in someone's mouth. Uh, but before I got interested or knowledgeable about teeth, it really meant not much to me. And I really didn't think that there was any problem with the dentist putting mercury in mouth because the mercury was in the teeth and it wasn't in the body and who cares. And a person would do a root canal and they would have a dead tooth sitting in a mouth and it seemed to work out all right and so big deal. As we began to look at people with chronic illness who have long-term health problems and trying to find out what is going on in their body that allows them or that doesn't allow them to be healthy and to perform normally. Uh, what I discovered is that a lot of times it has a lot to do with what's going on in their mouth because of course their teeth are a part of their body. It's not like the teeth are separate from the body. The teeth are part of the body and so uh, the influence of dental disease, gum disease on the body is very important. Now as we know there are major nerves that run from the teeth to the brain and the distance isn't very far. So problems in the teeth can affect the brain. Uh, problems from the teeth can also affect the gut, uh, the liver, and other organs. So when we look at someone now, I carefully do a detailed history of what are the dental interventions that have been done. I like patients to get what's called a Panorex x-ray, which is an x-ray that shows all the teeth, so that I can see are there missing teeth, are there dead teeth, are there abscessed teeth, are there root canals, is there fillings present, and then this helps me to overall look at what's going on with the patient. When I combine this with my uh, nutritional response testing, I often find that the first priority thing that's wrong with a person is something having to do with their teeth. They have a root canal. As you may or may not know, a root canal is a dead tooth. It's a dead tooth that was infected prior to being dead. And that infection remains even though the root canal is done. Uh, as you may know, in a molar tooth, there may be three or four miles of very tiny tubules. These tubules have bacteria in them. These bacteria often produce toxins. Those toxins leak from the tooth into the nervous system, into the jawbone, and they're taken up by the body. And sometimes these toxins are very potent, uh, and they will produce illness in a person. So oftentimes, our first intervention is fix the teeth. Now, we don't send someone to a regular dentist because often regular dentists are not sensitive to this issue that mercury is a very potent toxin or that root canal teeth can cause illness or that sometimes pulled teeth where the tooth is now missing from the jawbone that there may be an actual cavitation or pocket of infection in the jawbone uh, that's affecting the patient. And oftentimes if the patient isn't symptomatic, i.e. there's no pain, the dentist won't pay that much heed to it. What we know, however, is that there can be disease going on there silently, silently in, in, the, in terms that it's not causing pain, but it actually does cause illness. And so with the intervention, we must handle the infected teeth, the dead teeth, often the mercury or, or other fillings that are in the teeth, in order to restore health. And it may be our most important intervention as our first intervention. So this is important to do, and we work with a group of, of what we call biological dentists, these are dentists who understand this connection between the teeth and the mouth. They don't place mercury. They have methods to remove the mercury, which is safe. Uh, even the FDA is now saying that mercury is a toxin in pregnant women and in children. We know it's also a toxin in adults. Uh, so it's, it's not good to have. And uh, we help people to make these changes so that their overall health can improve. And handling the teeth and the mouth is often the first step in doing this and something that's very important. So this is Dr. Minkoff from LifeWorks Wellness Center. I hope this was informative for you. You can reach us at 727-466-6789 or our website www.lifeworkswellnesscenter.com. Thanks for your attention. Have a good day.